What is up, my squirtle lights? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Pokemon Legends Arceus. In the last episode, we continued basically just running all over the place here in Jubilee Village, completing request after request after request. In this episode, we're going to be gathering just a couple more requests before we finally set out. Oh, I didn't know the Bidoof slept up there. Those are the same Bidoof from that request, the very first request we ever got in the game, actually. All the way up there. Troublesome Bidoof. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be grabbing some requests, and then we're going to be heading out to the Obsidian Fieldland so we can actually get to work. But let's start by talking to Sanqua. Can't get a good, good night's sleep like this. Wah! Ah, don't scare me like that. Uh, was it that scary? No, no, everything's fine. Whatever you need, come back later, all right? Are you all right? Maybe a Survey core type like you could figure out what's causing this. Look, when I'm getting in my quarters trying to sleep at night, it feels like it feels like I'm not alone in there. Something sometimes there's this kind of crackling sound. I found burnt berries a couple times, and once in a while I hear something clatter. So survey core kid, go survey my quarters, figure out what's happening. Strange happenings at midnight. Just do it at night, would you? I gotta be at work during the day. Well, it happens to be nighttime, so why don't we head on inside? Yes. Let's see what we got. Check every nook and cranny for me. Well, let's search around and see what we can find. What's in here? Claws have been pulled to one side, and is that a hair on the hem? A short black hair? Interesting. Must be her hair. What about over here? Full of rolled, rolled up architectural plans. There's a sketch of Magikarp, too. Perhaps it's part of the plans for Galaxy Hall. Okay. What do we got here? Hello? There's a faint smell. It seems like berries had been present here. There was a noise from the entryway. You heard something from beneath the cloth. Draw it back. Let's see what we got. You saw sparks fly for a moment. It seems like something ran by you. Hmm. Noise from back near the closets. All right, let's go look at those. Pichu? What are you doing here? Civic Arcade, are you all right? I heard this strange noise. Wait a minute, this Pichu, could it be? Might sound absurd, but I think this might be a Pichu I found injured in the forest a while back. And you forgot about it? A berry for me? Oh, you fixed it up in the forest. Well, that's cute. Wait, so that thing haunting my quarters was just a grateful little Pichu? Guess all that worrying was pointless. I think I was afraid it was some spine-chilling thing. Regardless, I owe you. Have a token of my gratitude. And Strange Happenings at Midnight is complete. We got some Nanat Berries for our trouble. Well, happy to help. I'm glad that that's all been resolved. Pichu is adorable. Now, you take good care of that thing because, uh, yeah, it's, it, it, it's cute. So, okay, so we're going to be taking down Lucario in this episode over at the dojo. And I grabbed everything I needed to grab except for a Pokemon that can actually deal with Lucario. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go back in here really quickly, and we are going to pick up Adam. And Adam is going to be the Pokemon of choice we're going to fight this thing with, with his ground-type attacks and whatnot. Should be pretty solid. Also, mostly resistant to all the things that Lucario could throw out. More so the fighting types, less so the steel typing. But we'll deal with that. We'll talk to Mai on our way out. She's probably going to want us to go to the Coronet Highlands. Because I think that is the next location in order. We did the Cobalt Coastlands last. So let's talk to... And let me make sure I have Adam set in my rotation here. Here we go. All right, Zizu. Hello there, Akari. You know, we've been... In, in, we're... we're we, ugh, wow, I cannot read. We've an interesting member in the Security Corps. A secret weapon, if you will. They're a bit of a Pokemon battle master, in fact. Think I could trouble you to face our secret weapon in battle? Uh, maybe. I don't actually know what level you are at. But I'm just going to go for it. All right, here we go. Battle in the security core. Secret weapon. Give us a moment then. <sighs> so I heard the news. <clears throat> There's a, to be a face-off between two masters. You know, I've heard of our core secret weapon who, that can even defeat alpha Pokemon. And who is it? Everything's set. Come with me. Well, I thought we were going to be battling the Lucario. I'm a little confused.
Oh my gosh, it's the gate man, isn't it? It really is. Here's our ace in the hole, rest! Please, Captain Zissi, I'm just a common guardsman. However, so long as I stand in defense of this gate, I have no intention of letting anyone defeat me. Oh boy, here we go. So I thought we were going to be fighting Lucario here. Not you, but... Bidoof. Okay, okay. All right, I mean, you know what? That's fine. Here we go. What level is this Bidoof right here? Level 62. Oh, that's interesting, I suppose. Um, I'm going to use just a standard bulldoze here so that I can lower its, get its speed down a little bit and we can actually attack first. Got ice. Ooh, that's some good damage right there. Man, I was not expecting that at all. Well, we've got priority now, so let's uh, let's start with an X scissor like that. And then let's finish it off with another bulldoze. Goodness me, this might actually be a little bit harder than I thought because Adam's really all I have to use here. What do you got next? That Bidoof is actually pretty darn strong. Shinx! Okay, well, with this one, and it's going to use Iron Tail, so almost down. We're okay, though. We are going to use a Hyper or Max Potion right here to keep Mac, or Adam excuse me, from fainting here. There we go. Got another Iron Tail. That's not really what, what concerns me too much. Now, I'm going to use... Oh, I, can't, I don't even need to use an Agile-style Bulldoze. Let's use a standard one. There we go. One shot. Goodbye. All right. What's your last Pokemon here, Ress? It is Starly. Okay. Well, we have Rock Slide for just this occasion. It's going to use Air Slash. Some decent damage. I mean, I'm pretty sure these Pokemon are like fully maxed out with the amount of damage that they're doing, but I'm pretty sure a strong style Rock Slide should be more than enough to deal with this Starly. And there we go. If it was a Star Raptor, I'd be a little bit more concerned, but it's not a Star Raptor, so we're good. Good job, Adam. Very proud of you. You broke through my defenses. I thought I could do better than that, seeing as how I'm a guardsman. Well, if you had actually had evolved Pokemon, that would have helped a little bit, but whatever. This was to be expected. Setting up beyond the village and battling so many different Pokemon in the course of your survey corps work has made you very strong. You know, my first job as a guardsman was catching some Bidoof that seemed intent on infiltrating the village. Since then, I've kept many Pokemon from passing through our gates. Sometime I'd slip up and let, in, let some in. Goodness, would some people let me have it. But I also befriended some of the Pokemon, and before I knew it, we'd grown strong together. I gained so much, and all because I was trying to make sure folks could live safely here. It's my job to keep everybody safe, isn't it? Now, there's one last thing I'd like to tell you. If you're heading outside the village again, stay safe out there, kid. And now I think I'd better get back to work. We beat the secret weapon. We get three grit rocks for our trouble. Okay, that is not even the thing that I was meant to do. I'm going to have to go back into the requests and see if I can actually do it. Where is Steely Lucario? It is at the training grounds. Well, what the crap? All right, well, back we go then. I guess it's because we were picking up a new request and I wasn't really paying attention to that fact, but I guess that makes a little bit of sense. So it's just Lucario. It shouldn't be too bad. We should have the upper hand here. Adam, I believe in you. Oh, Lucario's just kind of hanging out over here, huh? All right, well, let's talk. I take it you're ready for our battle. I'm ready. Now then, let's forgo the small talk and proceed right to the battle. That's our style. All right, Rye, ancestor of Riley. Let's do it. Now, I still think that we have the advantage here. So, let me... Can I get away with an Agile style? Probably not, but I think a standard Bulldoze ought to do quite a bit. Or it could just one-shot him. Okay, well, good job, Adam. I'm very proud of you. He does have maxed out attack, so I guess that makes sense. And we are not going to be evolving Ghastly, even though he can. I am so sorry that was so easy. That was a wonderful battle. Since you need to redo our training, Lucario. Oh, my goodness. Thank you for the experience. I can tell you met many Pokemon that's helped make you stronger. I think we'll test our skills in other places from now on. Let's meet again. So Lucario has been beaten. Well, that was kind of underwhelming. We got another Grit Rock, though. I mean, I will certainly take them, but I also need quite a few Grit. I'm, I'm actually lacking in the Grit Pebble department at the moment, if I could be real. Wish I could trade in a Grit Rock for, like, ten Grit Pebbles. All right, let's talk to Mai now. Lucario, something is important to discuss with you. I heard an odd rumor. I believe it may be the key to unlocking the mysteries behind massive mass outbreaks. You must first acquire ten mushroom cakes, then bring them to the secret hollow in the Alabaster Icelands. I call this my tricky treat strategy. <laughs> Even Munchlax isn't impressed. I'll be waiting for you in the Alabaster Icelands in the secret hollow. 
Chicken shoot, shoot strategy it is. Okay, do I have enough of these? I have 35. Okay, we will be fine. So when we ever, whenever we get to the Alabaster Icelands, we will be doing that. But now it is finally time to head back out in to the Obsidian Fieldlands. Let's go. We got a couple of things to do, and I'm actually going to make it daytime as soon as I arrive because that's going to make my job a little bit easier. There's a couple Pokemon I need to catch in this area in particular. And the first of those is going to be a Burmy, which, which uh, should just be in a shaking tree. Shouldn't be too hard. Of course, we do also have some other things to follow up on here in the Obsidian Fieldland, so we'll be working on those one thing at a time. But I'm going to catch the Pokemon I'm trying to get first. Then we'll start going after the requests that are out here. So we're just going to look around for shaking trees. There's usually one down here at the bottom of the hill, but I could be wrong. Let's see. Not quite here. Not quite here. Oh, you got to be around here somewhere. Any shaking tree will do. And I, I mean, honestly, it might be even smart to just fly around with Braviary. Let's see if we can find anything. There is one. All right. And actually... I'm going to throw out Ghastly for this one particularly because I know it won't be able to do too much. That's the Burmy I want. All right, I think with this thing we should be able to catch it no problem with just a standard Pokeball or I guess I'll just use a Great Ball. Should be able to catch it in one go. And that is what we're going to have to take back to the village and show to the people arguing about the Burmy cloaks. All right, that's done. Now I need to go after a Scyther, but I also need to work on our dex entries really quickly. Let me check a couple of things here. So uh, let's go with uh, Octillery first. Octillery is level six. I need to see it use Hyper Beam and Hydro Pump and also see it use Strong Style moves. Um, that's about it on that one. For my choke, I need Bullet Punch, Strong Style moves, and that's it. I can also go out and defeat a few. And then the last one is Ghastly, which is, we are super close, just uh, use Astonish is basically all we need to do. So, or I, I can even evolve it, in fact, to get that done. Let me just che check some moves really quickly here. So it already has Astonish. We're good on that one. Uh, for Octillery, do I have a Hyper Beam? I have a Hyper Beam and Hydro Pump, so we're good on that one. And for Machoke... I have I I do have a bullet punch, but it is not learned at the moment. So let's switch that out for let's switch that out for bulk up. And then we'll call that one good. You need to get some strong style moves out of each of them. So on our way over there, we're gonna throw out a few things. Uh, let's start with Ghastly, who can use Astonish on this Buizel here. Really quickly. Be really simple. And I'm just gonna it's just a basic hit, so it's not gonna do too much damage. But it's something. I guess we'll do a strong style one after that. Oh no, it's not even gonna work. Good job, Ghastly. Very proud of you. So take that Buizel out, and then we can continue. And then I'll switch on over to Octillery as we continue to make our way towards the Grand Tree Arena, which eventually I'll just kind of give up and fly on over there. So Machoke. Can we get this Abra before it goes? Nope. Just missed it. Alright, well that's fine, that's fine. Okay, we got... An alpha over here. I'm going to try to... Well, actually, I think I am going to fight you, but I'm going to fight you with Octillery. Oh, that was a little too far far of a fall. Oh, don't be knocking me down. Come here, Staravia. All right. So for you, since you're level 32, I'm going to... Oh, it's going to use Roost when it's not even been hurt. Let's start with just a standard Hydro Pump. How much is that going to do? Too much damage? Too much damage. Okay, well, that's fine. I was hoping to get a strong... I was going to get a strong style in there, but that's okay. Let's use a strong style hyper beam. Oh, I can't use strong style hyper beam. What am I saying? Because it's not mastered yet. I'll just use a basic hyper beam then. I have to use strong style hydro pump on something else. That should get the job done. And we'll check research levels in a second. All right, let's keep going. I think... I think, and you know what, I think I am going to evolve my Ghastly here in a second just to ensure that we get it done. We got a Krikatot here, so let's uh, get rid of that thing really quickly with a strong style Hydro Pump, which doesn't freaking miss almost ever. Beautiful. This is super overkill, but it is necessary for getting all these things done. We can follow up on our tasks here really quickly just to make sure I've got everything I need. So, Octillery... 
Uh, I think that's going to be enough because Hyper Beam is going to account for two. I will use one more Strong Style Hydro Pump just in case, though. We do have a Krikatoon here that we can use it on. Why don't, let's just use it. Why not? This thing is weaker than the Staravia anyway, I'm pretty sure. So we, one of the weakest alphas in the entire game. So not too hard to deal with it, although that did quite a bit of damage. Let's do another one. No way that missed. No freaking way. That's what I get for making that comment before. That it never misses. Wow, that is I totally deserve that. And now I can't even use it. Son of a god. Oh my gosh, Octillery. I am so ashamed of you. I am so unbelievably ashamed. <sighs> Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? I cannot believe that that missed. I'm so ashamed. Let me get a slash in there. Oh, man. All right, I'm going to have to just run from this. Get out. Octillery, are you let me down big time? What the heck was that? That's not what I meant to use it on. There we go. Do that, and then I can just use a standard hyper potion on my choke. Golly, that was just sad. All right, I guess I'll just have to use it on something else then. I guess we'll just use it on its baby or something. And, oh, you know what? I, I just realized I didn't even freaking use the elixir, too. Oops. Well, we'll just use a hyper beam there. Forgot I wasted all of its PP on that miss. So pathetic. 95% chance, and it freaking misses. Uh, max ether. Yeah, I don't ever use these anyway, so I might as well. Like, I know they're pretty rare and they're hard to get, but... Also, probably not the Pokemon I should be using uh, uh, Hydro Pump on, but I think we'll be okay. At least I won't miss this time, and I can be done with Octillery here. Is that enough? Almost! At least we can get another Hyper Beam in for the records. And then rest! Oh, you little stinker. Well, Bibberol is drowsy, and that's okay with me. Let's use another Hyper Beam. Finish that off, and now I can put Octillery away and not have to worry about that. Alright, let's switch on over to Machoke, and I am going to completely ignore this Babarrel as we head up the hill here into the Heartwood, and we're almost into the Grand Tree Arena. Now, as we get uh, come across these Wurmple, let me start using Bullet Punch on these guys. I'm going to use more Strong Style moves just because I need to get them out of the way on this guy. We might have to go and defeat a few of them in a few Machoke in the Cobalt Coastlands again. Possibly. But, okay, Octillery is done for sure. Machoke, what are you at? Yeah, he might be done. He honestly might be done. I'll, I'll use Bullet Punch one more time on, like, this Baneri or something. But I think that's going to be it for me. Keeping its guard up is going to run away. It didn't run away. All right, let's just use another Strong Style Bullet Punch. And that should be more than enough. Oh my goodness, Machoke, you hit like a wet noodle. Seriously. I am so honestly disappointed in you. And now it ran away. That's okay. We didn't actually need to take it out. <sighs> All right, you're done. You're done. Let's evolve Ghastly really quickly so that we can say that we've done that. And all three of their Pokedex entries will be complete. At least as complete as I need them to be for the requests. And then we will go catch ourselves a Scyther. And then in the next episode, we're going to continue doing a couple more things here in the Cobalt Coastlands. We got a weird looking Ponyta to go after. I got a Combi to go catch in another particular area. I've got a, f a few other more requests in the vicinity to take care of. So we'll work on each of these one thing at a time. I did not mean to go into the menu there. So Scyther, you are up here. Just kind of over on the other side. That is that the alpha one? It is. Okay, hold on a moment. I have a lot of smoke bombs that I can use at my disposal, so let's do this. And I always forget. I always forget which food goes with what. Okay, these are hu honey cakes are the play. I did not mean to bunk you. Gosh dang it. Ah! You literally flew, flew right in the trajectory of where I was trying to throw that. All right, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. I mean, I really just need a basic Scyther, honestly. I really do, but I'm going to try it again. 
What is the other alpha that I was really close to? I don't know. There was another one apparently behind me. Okay. I am going to throw a honey cake way over there. And you are going to eat that without looking at me. Oh, okay. Uh, why did you turn like that? That's not cool at all. Okay, maybe I can still sneak up in time. I got a gigaton ball. Got it. Okay, and that should be more than enough to catch that thing. Beautiful. Okay, Scyther is done. We have apparently caught seven, and yet I still didn't have any left over. Don't actually know how that works. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Thank you all so very much for watching. Next episode, we're going to fulfill a few more requests here in the Obsidian Fieldlands. We got quite a few on the docket to take care of. We'll be going after all those. Guys, I will see you all in the next one.